Why did you stay in Canada? You could have stayed in New York. I did go to New York for a little while. And? Because they offered me and? a big leading role in the show. Why didn't you stay? Because if I had gotten another, like right away, big Broadway show or something, we would have stayed longer, perhaps. I did some other stuff, and Joe was doing some stuff, but I got to tell you, I am not tough enough to live there 365 days a year. I'm just not. My heart is not that hard. I can't do it. And we didn't have enough money to buy a place right. <laughs> upstate New York. So if we could have bought a little farmhouse that we could have gone to once a week, then I could have stayed there. I could have lived there. And it's not that it was horrible, a bad place. For every bad experience we had, we had three good ones. I swear, we made some amazing friends. It was amazing. We went out of our way. We bought an apartment there, and it, we got to know our neighborhood and the people in the little shops. Like, but I swear, it's 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 got to stop after a while. It's nothing stops. There is no silence. There is no break. There is. Oh my God, I just want some peace. <laughs> I want to look at something pretty. We would like go across so you could look back at Manhattan and see the pretty view. Or, thank God we had a dog. It was all about the dog. And we were by Riverside Park. So it was all about the park and the dog run and those people. That was the real part of our life. And that was beautiful in the spring and bloom. But I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's like being like this all the time. But if you got another Broadway gig right away, you would have then, stayed. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And I would go back, but only if I had something to go to. I don't need to go there and try and drum up some work. And I didn't feel I needed to do that before either. I do fine here. That's fine. But to go that way, starring in a big hit show on Yahoo. But you don't need, it sounds like you don't need the validation. I, no. I don't think I've ever felt I needed the validation, but it was certainly, uh, you know, on the bucket list. It's a... Uh, that would be cool. I would like to star in a Broadway show. Uh, in a, you know, in a way, I kind of feel like oh, I, I wish it had been, right, Gypsy or something or right. Maine or, because <laughs> right. that's really where I live. It's those old shows, but um, it was that, and it was the biggest surprise of my career, and it was a wonderful thing, and and has given me a concert career, which I didn't really truly have before. How does that work? Which is great. A concert career. How did a concert career come out of the Broadway show? Because now you have much more of a name and oh, you right. can say I'm a Tony nominated star of the original Mamma Mia blah blah and people care about that and will book you to do concerts because of it. In the US? Yeah, I have a US concert agent. I have a Canadian concert agent. And yeah. And how many concerts will you do a year? It depends. It's really up and down. It depends. It'll be 20. It'll be 30. It'll uh -huh. be 12. I don't know. It's never quite night, the same. One night stands. Most of the time. Sometimes two nights. Like I'm going to do, uh, I have three concerts, three nights in a row with the National Arts Center Orchestra, April 6, 7, 8. Right. And it's a new concert put together with this great conductor that right. I've met before. So that'll be cool. The same program? Three nights? Yes, same program. Night. Yeah. And it's a new program for me. I'm doing some, it's a very French theme thing that Jack Everly, this conductor, wanted to do with me. So I'm doing some Piaf and I'm doing like uh, Folie Bergère from Nine. So it's an English song, but with a French flair, sort of. Yeah, that's what this concert is. So is there staging to the concert or is it just a series of songs? You sit there, sing, sit down, no. they play. I will come and go and do my thing. Fanny Berger will have some staging and then he's got a couple guests on this concert who will do some dancing and other stuff. And then I'm the big singing star of the concert.